why everybody comes and I can understand you see the slide over there they got a swing tower over there the paddle boards out in the middle of the lagoon travelers we have made it to evermore resort and we are having lunch today at twin view so come along and let's see what twin view had to offer us today We have made our way into an absolutely gorgeous restaurant. It is in the Evermore um, Conrad area, the new Evermore Resort that is open. It is called Twin View. And when you see this these is, views, you understand why. This is very close to where we live, so we're very interested. We watched it kind of be built and be um, and open and started. So I wanted to see what was back here. We've been looking at trying to do a family, like a beach house type beach vacation. Yep. They have lots of different resorts here in Orlando that you can go to, mainly like Reunion and Champions Gate, um, different resorts like this. So this is another one that we can add to the list. So I wanted to come in and check it out, but they have several restaurants here. They have some a fine dining restaurant that's located in the Conrad, which is the um, hotel or short stay that they have here. Which is a Hilton, by the way, so it's don't forget Hilton. you get your Hilton Honor Points. I'd always add that. I'm, I'm <laughs> jumping in, I guess. But, no, um, go with it. We had an excellent uh, person that met us at the door. Her name was Honey. And thank you very much for all the information. But she was letting us know, like, Evermore and Conrad, although they're all located here on the same property, are a little different. The Evermore side has um, townhomes and mm -hmm. villas. And they do have, like, a minimum night stay. So you have to at least be here at least two nights to be on the, the townhouse villas you know side of the resort where conrad you can book just right, by the night right so i saw the restaurants i was intrigued they looked gorgeous online the pictures were you know fabulous and honestly in person it beats the pictures on there 100 the an menu absolute stunning location and and then michelle was mentioning the menu and when i looked at it i was i knew i was going to get the cuban sandwich but then changed my mind right off the bat so it is just it's I'm surprised more people yeah. aren't here. I'm surprised That's, too. This interior is axe, absolutely gorgeous. The, those are the houses over there. But look at this view that me and Michelle got right over here. That's the view of the Conrad over there and the lagoon. You can make um, reservations on um, open table. Mm -hmm. um, they do not have transportation to the park, which is the only thing I've seen so far that might hinder if you don't have a car and you're coming here to the resort. But of course you can Uber and Lyft as well to get over there, but it's very close, literally five minutes behind all the resorts and the parks. Yeah, they even have a private dining room that you can also get, but this place is gorgeous. Look at this. Just views, windows, 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 and views. That's why it's called Twin Views. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. You're in the landing area and they do have free parking. Uh, there had been debate, you got to pay for parking. Mm -mm. That's only over at Conrad because they do valet parking there. All right. 
So that's this, good to this know. This side I consider more of like a clubhouse type of atmosphere. Definitely is where the golf uh, club is. And then, of course, this is at like the recreation center. Yeah, so we... I, I'm sorry, I have to tell you before I forget. She was giving me so yeah, much information. There's a, so, there's a, a lot to take in. It is absolutely beautiful. There's they're, a fine, they're paddle boarding I out know, on I, the lake. I want to do that so bad. And it's all man-made. It's all crystal they clear have, blue. Um, the lake is just huge. Of course, man-made. I, I think it's a concrete bottom it the is. whole way through. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about critters or, you know, it's, it's not like a pond. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> you can see the bottom. You can't. Something I would swim in. You can't in. swim all the way across it, which Todd was interested in. <laughs> but they do have, like, swim areas. And then they have paddleboard areas. And they have some small, like, two-person um, non-motorized boats that yeah. you can get out on there. So that's so that's yes. why it's sectioned off. That makes sense yeah. now because so you the don't paddle run boards and the okay swimming. <laughs> makes sense. I would do that. There's a there's a possibility I would do that. But so. I have to show you real quick, which we missed part of it. She did it so fast. But I asked for sweet tea today, so she. What, where is the camera on here? It's by the right way? here. Okay, right I didn't down. know if you had it flipped over. Yeah, I don't know no, where to look. No, okay, sorry. so I asked for sweet tea, which she said, well, they do their own brew here, and I said, okay, that's fine. So she offered to give me simple syrup. I'm like, that's fine. But they brought it in that double carafe, almost like a coffee drip. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Absolutely. Sorry, bread hold service on. here for you. Okay. Oh, Let's start nice. with this. The bread is unlimited. I'll go ahead and show you. Yeah, please do. Look at that. I didn't know there was bread service. I did oh not know. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So he's going to have to look and see what seed he's yeah. talking about. I don't see a black seed on there. I don't either. I know pepito. Isn't a pepito a pumpkin seed? Yeah, I thought or so. Or sunflower. I don't know. I don't know. Sunflower, Sunflower seed. seed. There we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't worry about that. Like, oh, seed in the box. I was like, seed. No, sesame seed. I know. I'm like, hey, yes. Okay, we I got think it that's now. that's what's on the Chick Fil A salads that you get. The Southwest, but they call them pepitos. But they're sun. I think it's sunflower seed. Pepitos. Oh, pepitos. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's Spanish yeah. for sunflower. I don't know. Anyway, I hope I'm right. If not, they'll tell me. <laughs> yeah, our travelers will tell us. Um, this bread smells absolutely wonderful. It does. Finish your tea okay, story. Okay, so back to the tea. So she brought me a, a tea. It says tea forte, so it's a tea craft. But I wish I should have. I could have showed you. It was so cute. I know. So they let it drip, and of course, she poured the tea in my my little. That is pretty awesome. Carafe. So anyway, great and it was presentation. A fresh tea bag. I mean, fancy. Fancy. I feel fancy here. <laughs> I feel fancy. Look so let's that. see if I can pour it and not make a mess. And there is so much ice, and that is Michelle's dream. Is there? I'm even gonna leave the lemon in today. Just Look be at a little you, fancy, fancy. Be a little, you know. Okay, let's prepare our brown. Oh. Do you want? Cheers. We didn't yeah. get to you. Had water. No, I got. Can have tea, no, though. this is good. Cheers, <laughs> honey. And here's to you guys. Cheers, Cheers. to you guys. Mm. I'm supposed to look at you. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get our bread ready, and we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try the corn first. Let me get my drinks out of the way so I don't have well, I'm going to, of course. But I want to show. Let's see. We'll break it together. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Uh-oh, I just have a crumb in my tea. Look at that. Real Zellwood corn, too. Zellwood, Zellwood is not located too far from us. We grew up on that. We used to go pick corn when we were little. And then as I got bigger, we would just buy it by the bush. <laughs> we can't corn, all kind of stuff. <laughs> Here, I'm going to turn this a little we bit. We in the so country. See you better. Look at show. that. Of course, the little, little the soft butter. butter. I already went into it. They even have a slide, a water slide and a water He's rope. He's fascinated by that. I cannot wait way. to hopefully one day do a staycation. He wants to swim across it. No, I'm, I've seen they got a rope now with a deep area. You get across in general. Uh -huh. I wonder how Probably. deep it is in the middle. I'd have to like doggy paddle. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Here we go, guys. It's got a little toughness to it. Mm -hmm. It's not a light, flaky bread. It's a nice toughness. But the skin on it's top. It's chewy. It's chewy. There we go. It's not too sweet. Yeah. I thought it would be sweeter, but it's really nice. Just the sweetness of the corn. It's good. It's unusual. Okay, I did tear this one off camera. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm gonna finish my corn. My corn. <laughs> Usually does that to me. The camera's closer to me, so I'm in charge of the camera workage today. So <laughs> sorry. 
This is the um, the mustard seed, which the bread is similar to the corn, but I couldn't tear it on camera because all the seeds were falling off. Yeah, they do fall off. I just found. <laughs> I figured that one out. You know right, what? Right. I'm not even gonna try to tear that apart. Oh, that is a tough bread. They're gonna come. I know they're gonna go everywhere. That is a yeah. The mustard seeds are going everywhere. Right no, go ahead. They literally are going everywhere. I know. That's <laughs> All what I over said. the floor, everywhere. Here we go. Right, cheers cheers again. again. I love little BBs. The pumpkin and sunflower seeds are toasted on that. Mm. That's a nice hearty bread. <laughs> I know. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Are you still there? I don't know. <laughs> This big old napkin, you think I could hit it? One more time. Where? There, man. <laughs> You're gonna have to say My the word for this. Like... The appetizer has arrived. And the it is the. Scratchatella. 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 I am going to. <laughs> it's not Deratol. No, Scratchatella. Scratchatella. You know it's what? It looks cheese. good. It looks good. And now here's the big board. See if I can manage this without you hold the bread. I got sure the bread. Yeah, I got the no, bread. No, not the bread board. The I know. Bread yeah, I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> so that's that. Do you want to thumbnail with it just in case I want to? Sure. Use it. Ready? Right. One, One, two, two three. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, but now I'm going to show you independently so it doesn't slide off the board. Yeah. The bread once again smells fantastic. <laughs> Looks like it has a wacky meat on it. <laughs> Got some flowers and stuff in there. I don't know what there. that is. I don't know what that is. All right. It looks like rice, but it's not. It's shredded cheese, and then strips of burrata cheese underneath there. She said drizzled with a little bit of something I can't remember, so I'll have to look at the. Where's <laughs> Wait, I got the menu. Um, persimmon, local honey, Meyer lemon, and barrage cheese. Barrage. Okay, that's the little flaky cheese on top. And I'm gonna say it again because I can't remember if I said it earlier, which I probably did. So I'm sorry. This is probably did, but but they do have their. Beehive located off property, but they bring their honey onto property. So that's what's in this. It's a local honey, and it is organic. Mm -hmm. So it's their farm raised. They do have a a little like herb garden on the way coming yeah. into that we saw. They had some ornamental peppers, which I've always wanted one of those trees or bushes. Um, it looks really cute. So you, she used they use they get all of their little herbs and things from that garden. So it smells fantastic. Cool. It's good. And the bread is grilled. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Here we go. Toasted bread. Do we dip it or do we use our fork? Ooh. And it is soaked. Whatever they grilled this with. Probably olive oil. Uh, it smells fantastic. All right. So I'm going to get a piece of toast. That's a good idea. I just follow Michelle's lead half the time. That way I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I think you're doing good. I try to be proper until I just give up and then I just eat the way I want to eat. Okay. Okay, that is very super soft. Here, wait, I want to show you this. I'm trying a little bit because. How is it? I mean, we have not even it. tried it yet. We're we getting were ready to. We're arguing over whatever that was. I think that's the persimmon. I don't know. That right there. Maybe? So, yeah, I believe so. Okay. <laughs> we got Enjoy. that. We got it. Thank you. Cheers, honey. Cheers. Here we go. There it is, right there. He looked at me like he was going to kill me. No, I didn't. I just didn't take it all. It's more. Mm. That's good. That's very different. Very unique. Mm. I can say I've never had this before. Yeah, that is really good. It looks like they took the burrata. It's very smooth. Yeah. Yeah, she says it's strips of burrata, but I was thinking strips, but it's all, it's kind of like a, just a cheese dip. Yeah. Might be easier to cheese dip it. Like that. Show me the menu one more time. I got persimmon. I got the honey. The honey is around the outside edge, and I can taste the honey. Persimmon, local honey, Meyer lemon, and then barrage cheese. Oh. That's good. It is good. It's good. <laughs> It's so hard to describe stuff sometimes when it's the first time you've ever had something, which mm -hmm. this is the first time. The bread is nice and holds up. I can, it's not... gar I can taste garlic. The persimmon gives it that nice sweet taste, and then the honey and the lemon. That's just really good. 
I don't taste the lemon yet, but I get the honey for sure. Actually, you can see... You can see the honey right there. Maybe I'm calling and it cheese. Maybe it's not cheese. And that's the persimmon right there. The it darker. says plant. Barrage plant. Is that the flowers and the, and the little green plants? You guys, please help us eat. We have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I know I'm enjoying this. Cottage cheese, is it? Nettle and barrage cream cheese. Mm. What is that? you got to get a big bite of it. Don't just do a little bite of it. Put it on that bread. Smear it on there. Yeah, barrage is a plant. It says it's a plant leaf. Is that what that green is, or is it actually in the dish? I don't know. We'll have to ask her when she comes back. You know what? You're just going to have to trust us and just eat it. Because we don't even know what we eat. You know what? You guys come here to Twin View and you try this dish. Mm. Tell us what's in it because it is fantastic. And this appetizer was? It's very different in a good way. $18. $18. Go ahead and say it. I'm overwhelmed. Overwhelmed and the entrees have arrived <laughs> and they look fantastic. Michelle's truffle fries. That is Becca's dream right there. It is. Becca, we're going to bring you back, honey. I promise. Look at that. You want to put yours in? I'm, you I'm... Here, I'll show you there. His, too. Okay. So, they, wait, that wait. That is the... Um, Fried chicken sandwich. It's got a little heat. It's got a little honey on it. And mine was the Cubano. Right there. Yeah. Cubano. And that's the... Yeah, let me see that there's the fries. And I just got the regular fries right there. Right, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Got it? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this sandwich smells fantastic. Yeah, turn it around. That, them fries look... Like, and these, fantastic. you can get regular fries like he got, or you can get truffle fries, which is what I got. Look at that. Okay. And Michelle's Cubana was $19. And my um, honey strung chicken with green tomato chow chow, by the way. That looks good. That looks so <laughs> good. Wait, wait, in again. <laughs> and my sandwich was $18. So, um, oh my gosh. Which would you like to try first? Do you want to share? Oh, look at that tomato jam on there. Oh, it doesn't matter. Gosh. Whichever okay. way you want to do it. I'm up here. I'm gonna, let's do the Cuban first. It's the okay. easiest. Okay. You're going to let me just... Yes. Okay. Look at that. I'm going to bite it right here, though. Oh, let's let you know. Still so good. Okay, ready? And look how big that is. It is fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my goodness, that meat literally melts in your mouth. It is so tender. That's Man. a mom sandwich. Oh yeah, that is a great sandwich. What kind of mustard is she that? She told because? me she loves Cubans. That's really good. It's um. It just says mustard. Bourbon cask ham, roast pork, Emmentaler. Yeah, and you said that's the cheese. Right. It's like a Swiss cheese, mustard. Cumin, aioli, and a Mallorca bread. Mallorca yeah. bread. Oh, it's Absolutely wonderful. fantastic. That might be one of the best Cubans I've had. I'm going to try a truffle you know, fry. No, no, I'm good. You I'm, sure? I just don't like truffle. Try again. Try one okay. like the other. Okay. There's no truffle on it. There. I'll try that. Cheers. Here we go. Mm. See? Her and Becca would... They would just eat bowls of this. Um, it is good. I like the fries because they're the chunky. Are these like steak cut fries? No. I don't but know. they're just the way they're made. They're really good. Okay, so we have with the bread service, these sandwiches, and the appetizer. We could have fed easily three or four people. Yeah, we could have split a lot of this. Um, especially the Cuban. Of fries. Yeah. The Cuban would easily feed two people. <clears throat> 
the cheese is a good appetizer for the whole table. Yeah. Like we put barely put a dent in it. Yeah. And so and we got five pieces of bread left over here. I'm gonna so the, the prices aren't unusual. It's what you would expect here near the resorts. Yeah. But I think for the price that you're paying, plus I mean, they get it. A yeah. plus ten for our views. Okay, I'm gonna cut my chicken sandwich in half. Whew. Sorry. Earthquake. Sorry for the shake. I've cut my chicken sandwich in half. I'm gonna give Michelle this half right here, but I'm gonna show you her half. Look at that. And the corn and they use bib lettuce. Very rarely do I see a restaurant use bib lettuce for a sandwich. She said there is a little heat, so we're gonna see. But look at that. Look, look at that. Smell it. And that chicken. It's like a oh my gosh. You'll have to say what exactly the ingredients were. Okay, I will. Cheers. Cheers. Very soft. Very tender. A little bit of heat, not too bad. That is a fantastic chicken sandwich. That chicken is amazing. We may have found a new hot spot for lunch. This might be the new spot for lunch. This is so good. Oh my gosh. So it's nice. literally 10 minutes from any Disney resort. It's right on 535. Um, Conrad Hotel, the restaurant up there, actually has fireworks to use, which me and Michelle are going to come back to to try that out. So, this is a great location. I feel so happy when I find locations like this and you try the food and it's different. It's things we haven't had before and it all tastes so good. It is really good. The service has been spectacular. Mm -hmm. The views, which we've showed you the views. Well, I'm going to eat. Okay, that sounds good to me. We'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> what if they have dessert? I didn't see any dessert menu. Hmm. Have to try that. You have to come back for dessert. May have to. How could you have dessert on top of all this? Stuff? I could get some ice cream down there. Stop eating. Grab right and now. go. Did you see they have a burger bar down there? I At the quick service? Uh -oh. Yeah, they have a burger bar. So oh my gosh. We're definitely coming back. <laughs> All right, so we just... I mean, I didn't catch your name. I didn't see your name back. I didn't either. Her hair was covering it. I looked and I continued to try to look. We'll have to look. We'll give her a shout out at the but end I of the But I think she runs we'll the out. restaurant and the golfing mm -hmm. thing that she said. She was very sweet. She stopped by and gave us more information. But we did learn you don't have to have a reservation to come in here. You can come and do walk-ups yes. right now. Oh so just tell the guard gate you're coming in here to eat and they'll let you through to come right come to the restaurant which it's been a big debate on some of the food the food um, blogs and stuff that you had to have reservations but you, you don't, don't. So. but just remember at um if you're going to the hotel they only do valet valet parking that's why they charge you there's and, not like a cell phone. okay so that makes sense because if you go to the restaurant over there the mexican that's up top um, they will validate your valet over there. But if you go to any other restaurant, I can't over pronounce Conrad, it, but it's called Cebo or Cabo Cebo. But it's a high end level, and they are going after the Michelin star. So that is what they are working toward. So that tells you the kind of restaurants that are here on property. We'll, we'll be over there in the next few weeks. I'm oh, sure. yeah, I'm sure. I'm we'll sure. Try to carve out time. The one thing I did find out interesting is that she said this is phase one of phase, there's four phases. So it's going to get bigger than this. So that's going to be impressive. I, mean, I did say, which I believe, the other resorts um, tend to be south of the Disney property. Like talking about Margaritaville, Reunion, Champions Gate. There's some other smaller ones that I can think of where you can rent vacation homes. But anybody who stayed down on that side of Disney, it's the south part, you know the traffic, 192 and I-4 is just horrendous. So although on the map, those places look like they're very close to here. If you come at certain times of the day, like morning time traffic, afternoon traffic, when the work lets out, it can be standstill, you know, stop and go traffic. Yeah. So up here, it's a breath of fresh air because the traffic is lighter. It's easier to get to, you know, not too much around it that would cause it to be congested. So it's a good area. Either gate that you go out, you're probably eight minutes to a um, parking garage at Disney Springs. That's how close you are here. Probably less than that, I would guess. And remember, we're not sponsored. We're not sponsored. No, we're not we're, sponsored. We're just eating this food we, and we enjoying it. We paid all our pennies for all the yeah, food today. Yeah, so. No, no discount that we yeah. know of. <laughs> no treat or anything, So, but it, it's well worth it. It's, mm -hmm. it's well worth it. And we are glad that you guys follow along, travel along with us, and thank you so much for doing that. Also, thank you for joining our Facebook group. If you're not yet a member, go over to Facebook, join our group or our page. 
And, and I apologize for a short merchandise update. We're still on hold at the present. Thank you to everyone who's reaching out asking us about merchandise and things that we have available. We do still share the shirts and then the merchandise stuff will probably start back up maybe fallish. You know, we're still talking about it, but with the weather and the oh heat, it really is hard to get that stuff shipped out where it stays, you know, nice and good and packed well. So and not melted and running all over the packaging. Really can't wait to come back here. I'm, I can't wait to bring the kids back here. I can't wait to bring friends, travelers back here. This is really nice. Yeah, it's a good place, and I'm glad that we tried it today. I'm glad it's always you good to step the, out yeah. a little bit. And it's on the open table. It's been right under our noses, and it wasn't yeah. really on our radar, yeah. but it is now. Yeah, sure is. So, um, and since we're getting close to the end here, sadly, they don't do desserts for lunch. No, so no this desserts one for lunch. had to ask about dessert, but they do desserts for dinner, so if yeah. you're interested there. But as we walk out, they have a quick service that has ice cream, so who knows? Yeah. Well, no, no, probably not today. <laughs> um, this sandwich, the chicken sandwich, does have a little more heat than I thought it did. That's why I'm eating the brioche bun to cool off my mouth, but it's really good. It's very manageable. Do you want the rest of my Cuban? I'll swap you. Okay, I'll swap you with that. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. 100%? I'm 100%. It's good, but I'll, I like the chicken too. Not the whole Cuban, just the one half of hers. That's the other one over there. Oh God, that looks so good. Okay, let's go back to eating. We still got a bunch of cheese to eat. I know. <laughs> With that, can we leave them here? What's I that? I think we've told them just about everything. Yeah, we know. I think so. Um, but yeah, I think we can. So, travelers, like we always say, until next time, travel and adventure is out there. Yes, adventure today. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> mm, that was so good. <laughs> Travelers, we had finished up our dinner. I can't wait. And Camilla, the young lady that had come talk to us earlier, she was fantastic. She, they are all just fantastic here. But I told her there was no. She's like, no, no they, desserts. They even took our leftovers and boxed them for us. Yeah, that's so fancy. And I know. So sweet. And she's like, no, we don't have desserts at lunch. But then <laughs> Camilla pops up with this. They are passion fruit tarts with little angel food cake. It's right there. She just brought it to us. They don't serve this. They And we're sorry to the pastry chef if you're watching this by any chance because she stole three of your passion tarts for yeah. us. This is actually two desserts put together today for him. So they do a banana. Uh, I, I got my eyes yeah. rolled back when I heard banana caramel passion flambe something yeah. with the tarts at night. So that really means we need to come back for dinner. <laughs> you know that means we need to come back for dinner. Yeah, okay. Do you, oh, you got delicious. a spoon. She bought a spoon. I didn't she even notice did. that. Okay, we're gonna try this for you guys. Don't. I am so full. Yeah, and as I, I so much left. As I dig into this right here. Oh, well, why didn't we do the same one? Oh, it's okay. Because that ain't gonna make it. Did I hear it's not gonna make it home? It, well, my piece wouldn't. I can tell you that much. Okay, she uses a spoon. <laughs> I just picked it up because it's a little shortbread crust right there. Ready? What is it? You can take a horse to. Yeah. Water, yeah, but you can't make it. Not drink. fancy. Okay, cheers, honey. Mm. That passion fruit filling is like a um, key lime pie that texture. So sweet of her to do that. That is fantastic. And it's like a passion fruit cream. Yeah. She literally said she went back and asked them to do a dessert for us, and this is what they whipped up. Like, this is a whip up. Like, Kudos. Mm, so mm, good. Mm. That is fan. That that is fantastic. And it has little little angel angel food. <laughs> they had to make those little things. Look at those little things. Fantastic. So, thank you, Camilla. So you got her something yep. sweet. Yeah, got to me go something with your sweet. Sour. So, great meal. Even I me. still. He never listens. You're to not me. sour. See, I just ignore that you try to say you're sour, you're mean, or you're this. Or she's not. She's not sour at all. She's my best friend, and she knows that. I'm spicy. You, no, you're saucy. Dude, saucy. The boathouse. I'm saucy. That, I should have said this is Michelle's boat right here. Okay. Saucy. Second <laughs>